Oh my goodness. I will never get over that. So, so pretty. Hey everybody, it's Anna. Welcome back to my art channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing another little bloom. This is going to be a bloom transfer swipe. So not blooming from the center, not even doing a swipe, but rather doing a bloom swipe on a separate surface, scooping it up and laying it out over some negative space. So here are my colors. I have phthalo blue, sky blue, and these are both paints. And then I have three mica pigments. I have spring rain, which is this lovely green color. And then I have two chameleon powders, which are color shifting. This one I believe is olive. It was a leftover cup. And so I was like, ah, I'm pretty sure this is olive, but it's basically white with like a greenish yellow shimmer. And then this is champagne, which is sort of a tan with a pink shimmer. So that's really pretty. I haven't used this one before. And my cell activator is Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam White paint. And my pillow is Glidden Essentials Eggshell White Indoor House Paint. So those are my details. Um, this, is, this is a bloom recipe. It's the Shelly Art Bloom recipe, which is um, untinted house paint and polycrylic is how I mix my pouring medium. You can see the video on how I mix that pouring medium here, but all of these paints are mixed with that. The pouring, uh, not the pouring medium, the cell activator is different. This is the thing that makes the lacing on the top, and this has nothing added to it. It is just the house paint. So, very excited. I'm gonna be pouring on a record. So this is an old vinyl record. I, um, I sprayed it with some primer just to give it a bit of a base coat, and I will be taping that to my cake spinner so it doesn't shoot off the side. That's been so nice. Uh, but, yes, I think that's all the details. Let's make a painting. So first things first, we need to create the design that I'm going to be scooping up and layering over. So this is just like a piece of cardboard that I've covered with freezer paper, and it's kind of messy, but I've used this as a base for transfer stuff before or for making paint skins for jewelry. So it peels up nicely, and I don't think any of this dried paint will come along with it. But I'm gonna start with some of the pillow, which I've put in a cup for easier use. That should be enough. And this doesn't have to be a huge amount of design. And now I've thought about, usually when I do these, I've done a couple before, usually I just take all the colors and I kind of throw them out over the pillow and I swipe it with a palette knife to make all the lacing. But now that I have sort of the official cell activator, I'm wondering if I should blow it instead. Yeah, I think I want to. So I'm gonna blow out a bloom and then, and then scoop it. We'll see, I may swipe some also, but we'll just start with a middle, middle area here. We're gonna start with the phthalo blue. And then some of the spring rain. And then sky blue, trying to sort of go paint, mica, paint, mica. And then on top of both of those, I'm gonna drizzle my olive chameleon. Whoa, that's a lot. And the champagne chameleon powder. That'll be fun. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of my cell activator into the middle and blow it out. Thank you. 
This is really pretty. Um, I'm gonna tilt this a bit, getting lots of beautiful lacing and stuff. Typically you would spin a bloom, but I'm gonna be scooping this up anyway. So, you know, I just want it stretched a bit. Oh, that's pretty. Very shimmery, super, super shimmery. Okay, is that enough? I'm just gonna, just for fun, we'll make a little side swipe area. I'm gonna put just some of each of the colors, same order, because I really like that order. And then we will get just a little palette knife here and put some cell activator on the back of that palette knife and swipe it around. Wow, that is gorgeous. Oh man, that's so pretty and it's so many cells. I got great lacing here in the middle, I think because I was just stretching it every which away. Um, some of the cell activator just sank down. Or maybe I have it a little bit too thin. I don't know. I really liked this bloom, but because I'm going to be scooping it up, I, I want lots of detail everywhere. So, we're going to just keep... This is probably going to make some people mad. They'll be like, hey, it was so nice. Yes, I know, but I want cells literally everywhere on this thing. Otherwise, it's not going to transfer when I scoop it up. The nice thing about a transfer, either a transfer bloom or swipe, is you just get to have fun making, making something here, and it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be scooping it up. We'll deal with the perfection later. Um, let me get a bigger palette knife. Cell activator on there. Okay. Oh my goodness. I will never get over that. So, so pretty. All right, one more swipe. Amazing. That's just gorgeous. The bloom was really pretty, but because I was gonna have to be scooping it up, I just, I love having more lacing, more detail. So we'll save the straight bloom for another day. Let me give you a close-up of that. Isn't that amazing? Woo-wee! All right. I will set that aside. Now we need to get our actual record attached here. So I'm just going to take some tape and make some loops. That looks pretty centered. Might be slightly off center, but I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Okay, let's put some pillow down on here. Oops, I just realized I should have put tape on the back covering that hole. I always do that, and I forgot this time. So let's see if I can pull this up. I can't show you what I just did. I put tape on the back side of the hole so that when I pick it up to move it, all the paint won't run down through the hole and warp my design. And then when the paint is dry, I can just trim that out so that I can add a clock mechanism in there. But if you're not adding a clock mechanism, you can just leave it covered, that's fine. Okay, let's add our pillow.
Try to get as many bubbles out of your pillow as you can before you do the transfer. Um, otherwise, they'll, they'll come up and they'll make white spots. So you can either torch carefully, uh, you know, not getting too close to the paint, but carefully, or you can kind of bang, like tap the surface, and that'll force the air bubbles up and pop some of the larger ones on their own. Okay, this is fun. So for transfers, you want something that's like firm but flexible. So since I used a record for this, I, this is actually a piece of the record envelope. And I'm going to be using it for my transfer. Some people use playing cards. You can use, um, you know, like when you get a canvas, but that's kind of thin. You can use that. So there's all kinds of things you can use. I'm going to be using this today. And I want it relatively small. So this is, I don't know, two and a half inches. I'm going to start by scooping up some of this and then I'm going to spread it in like a ribbon pattern. Well, I lost a lot of my lacing, which is surprising. I don't know what happened. I don't know if my paints were too thin or what. This is not going to be a problem. That'll go off. Though, I am going to try to just... neaten that up in advance. And same over here. There's a lot of touching up that you can do afterwards just with a brush. So, you know, if your edges are a little bit wiggly, that's okay. You can, you can smooth those out later. This is looking nice. I like it. Uh, so I'm going to scoop up one more and lay it out sort of this way. So the two kind of cross. Let's scoop this up and hope that more of the cells stay. Come on, scoop. There we go. Interesting. Well, I must say, I'm disappointed that more of the lacing didn't come out. The two other transfer swipes that I've done, I actually didn't use a standard bloom mixture. I used um, like regular Floetrol mixed paint, just mixed thicker. And the lacing stayed a lot more distinct. This, it's gotten very mellowed out. It's still very pretty. It's very peaceful and serene. So I like it a lot and I'm still gonna spin it out. I just, I wish there was more lacing because you saw how pretty it was. But. Let's spin it because our edges are not totally neat. We want to stretch it a little bit more. Hmm. Let me give it one more spin. know I'm not really feeling it it's it's very simple it's beautiful shimmery I can tell that there's a lot of shimmer but it's very very simple I'm trying to decide if I add anything to it I think I'm going to because it's not bad but it's not great and I'll be the first one to say that it is peaceful but I wanted more more design so I'm going to do a loaded palette knife swipe. So I'm going to start with the cell activator, because that's what needs to be on the top. And then I'm going to add champagne 
and this spring rain and some of my phthalo blue. Okay, and I'm going to swipe it here, basically mirroring that top swoop. Oh dear. Beautiful cells here. Lost all the cells there. Huh. <sighs> but because that's so pretty, I'm going to try to make a stripe of those colors. Okay. Cell activator again. And I'm going to try to do it a little slower. Okay, that got a lot more cells. Good, that's what I wanted. I definitely like all the cells better in the swipe than what I got in the transfer. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to restart entirely, but I'm going to restart a little. Um, I want to make sort of overlapping waves with larger palette knife swipes. So that's what I'm going to do. So. I'm going to do them sort of one at a time. And I don't think I need any more of the sky blue because as all of my blues have blended with the white, it's basically turned into that sky blue color. So I'm only adding the accent colors. Okay, so this I'm going to... I need a bit more of my pillow up here so that that can stretch out as I spin the whole thing. So I'm going to swipe like this, and then I'm going to come back and do another wave or two crossing in different directions. Okay, beautiful. Okay, we'll see how it goes, swiping right to left. That is not my dominant direction, but hopefully it'll work fine. Hmm, well that worked really well, except for the area that swiped and brought, carried the white down in. So what am I gonna do there? I'm gonna dip this just into some of my paint that has fallen. So there's no lacing in it, but I sort of, I covered up that empty space. Okay, now I want one more wave coming this way, and then I'm going to spin it to stretch it. Okay. I missed one tiny section, but I think I can get that with this.
Well, I like this design better. There's a lot more lacing. It looks more dynamic. So let's give it a spin, stretch the paint out, get the design neatened up a bit. Well, that's really pretty. Now, of course, because I put on all this extra pillow, it's like having trouble coming off. So I'm going to even it out a bit before I spin it that last time. Because I don't want too much paint on here. All right, let's spin again. Very cool. Yeah, I like that. Yay! <laughs> that took a long time, but that is gorgeous. Um, yeah, let me, let me get my hands cleaned off and then I'll give you a close up. Okay, here we go. So this one definitely took some doing to get it right, but I'm really happy with it now. Look how amazing that lacing is. I love bloom swipes. They're probably my favorite, favorite way of getting that gorgeous lacing look. And it's really sparkly. That champagne is amazing. So, can't wait to see how this looks when it's dry because it always looks shinier then. But yeah, thanks for coming on this adventure with me. Let's see how it looks when it's dry. Okay, it's all dry. So it dried well. I didn't know whether the cells would shift at all and they really didn't. The only issue was, you know how I added more pillow up here because I thought I wouldn't have enough to stretch? Well, it ended up that I had a little bit too much paint in the middle and I got a bit of cracking. Can you see that texture there in the middle? Now, because I'm gonna turn this into a clock, that cracking is not really going to be a problem because the clock mechanism is gonna go right there and cover it up. But take a look at that shimmer. Look at that purple. So that's the champagne. So from certain angles, it's just kind of a sandy color or a neutral, and the light hits it and wow, it's just incredible, this shimmer. So I'm really happy with that. And even though it took some doing to get this finished, I'm really glad that I kept on swiping until I had something that I was really happy with. Okay, so let me put the clock hands on and I will show you how it looks when it's all finished. Okay, so here it is. It is all finished and it's varnished. So this isn't, this isn't resin, this is just varnish. It's multiple layers of varnish, which is why it's so thick and glossy. But look how that magnifies the shimmer. I just love seeing metallics after they're varnished because it just looks uh, so much better than it does when it's dry. And these mica pigments are incredible with the shimmer that they have. So I'm super thrilled with this. I'm calling this piece Go With The Flow because that's what I had to do. I just had to take what I had and just keep working on it and working on it until I had something that I liked. And I really love this sort of peaceful flow of gorgeous sparkly water. And I thought gold clock hands looked particularly nice since it's so shimmery and it's got the, the gold or the, you know, goldish green and the purple shimmer there in the design. So thanks guys, what do you think of it? Let me know down in the comments, have you ever done a transfer swipe? or a bloom swipe like this really ended up being. And which one did you like better? Did you like it better before I added all this or after? Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.